Today I'm cooking on the top of the range, most wonderful gas dual control five oven. All argus have on the left hand side the boiling plate. That is the hottest domestic heat source there is. There is nothing hotter in anybody's kitchen than the boiling plate. Whatever anyone with a five ring gas wok induction monster might dream, <laughs> we are hotter than them. Beside it is the simmering plate. The simmering plate is about half the temperature of the boiling plate. Anything you put onto your simmering plate cold will slowly and gradually come up to boiling point. Anything you put on your simmering plate already boiling carries on bubbling away gently. Whatever argue you've got, the boiling plate's on the left, the simmering plate's on the right. Does that make sense so far? Yes. If I'm not making sense, please stop me and ask. I'm here to answer any question you can think of. I mean, not what's going to win the 3.30 at Plumpton, but to do with cooking on an argo, please ask anything you like as we go along. The biggest difference between cooking on an argo and cooking on anybody else's cooker is that you never turn an argo up, you never turn an argo down. You just leave them well alone. They're on all the time, mostly. The ovens are on all the time. The hot plates, the modern ones, you can turn on and off. But you can't actually change the temperature. It's pre-calibrated. So unlike a gas cooker where you're fiddling with the flame underneath the pan, with the argo you pick the pan up and you put it somewhere else. It's really easy to cook on an argo. If it's boiling too hard, you pick the pan up and move it. If it's not boiling hard enough, you put it back on the boiling plate. So we've got the boiling plate, we've got the simmering plate. Then we come on to the ovens. Whatever argo you've got, everybody has a roasting oven, everybody has a simmering oven, and everybody's roasting oven is the top right. The roasting oven is the main oven of the Arga. The roasting oven is the most amazing, all-round, all-encompassing, indirect radiant heat, which sounds hideously technical. It just means the heat's coming from everywhere. If you think of a standard electric oven, it's got a couple of elements down the side, pushing out the heat, and sometimes a fan wafting it round a bit. If you think of a standard gas cooker, it's got a row of flames at the back, pushing out the heat. In the Arga oven, the heat's coming at the food from the cast iron floor, the cast iron roof, the cast iron sides and the cast iron back. Because the heat's coming from five different directions, it really seals the flavour in very quickly. And because the heat's coming from such an enormous surface area, you think about the, how many square feet of cast iron are all just gently radiating in an Arga oven. It's a very gentle heat, which is brilliant. It's much easier not to trash things in an Arga. It's much harder to burn things in an Arga, as long as you remember they're there. <laughs> and the thing is, you can't see it, you can't hear it, and you can't smell it. It just is. A lot of people who move into a house with an Arga in look at it and they think, oh my goodness, where do I begin? Where's the grill? The roof of the roasting oven is the grill. The roof of the roasting oven is the biggest grill on the market because every square inch of the roof of the oven is the same temperature. So unlike on a gas grill where you've got flames going down the centre and your toast is darker in the middle than at the outside, in the Arga, every square inch of the roof of the oven is the same temperature. The floor of the oven is also nearly as hot as the boiling plate. We use the floor of the oven in the Arga as an extra cooking surface. If you're doing anything smelly or spitty or steamy, do it on the floor of the oven. No smells, no spitting, no steam. Use the floor of the oven like an extra hot plate. So that's the roasting oven directly below the simmering plate. Depending what model you've got, we've all got a simmering oven. If you have a two oven, a three oven, a five oven, your simmering oven is your bottom oven or your bottom right. The simmering oven is above boiling point, it actively cooks. Anything that you do in Arga cooking tends to be bring it to the boil, chuck it in the simmering oven and leave the kitchen. My favourite instruction is leave the kitchen. The trouble is we now all live in our kitchens and so you just sidle across the kitchen to the sofa. But that simmering oven is fantastically useful. If you have a three oven Arga, your bottom left, or if you have a five oven Arga, the bottom middle, is the baking oven. The baking oven runs halfway in temperature between the roasting oven and the simmering oven. It's much more of a graduated heat than any of the other ovens. Hot air rises, so it's higher, hotter at the top than the bottom. So you cook biscuits and sponges fairly high in your baking oven, shortbreads and fruitcakes fairly low in your baking oven. And then if you've got a five oven arga, 
it comes with a bonus of a slow cooking oven and below it a warming oven. So if you've got two ovens, you've got a roasting oven, you've got a simmering oven below. If you've got three ovens, you've got a roasting oven, simmering oven below, baking oven beside it. If you've got five ovens, such as this one, you've got roasting, simmering, baking, simmering, warming. And if you've got a four oven arga, slightly different configuration, roasting where it always is, baking below the roasting, simmering top left, warming bottom right. The warming oven is the one that's below boiling point. It doesn't actively cook. It does hold food perfectly to go to the table. You can put Christmas dinner in the warming oven and go back to the drawing room and have some more presents. <laughs> and it's not going to spoil and it's not going to dry out and it's not going to come to any harm. The only thing the warming oven actively cooks is meringues. If you're going to put meringues in your warming oven, you've got to get them out by the end of next week. Rough. <laughs> Timing is very precise in that oven. And that's the one farmers use to, to thaw out orphan lambs. If you're resurrecting an orphan lamb, don't shut the door. <laughs> when they're better, they like to get out. And the four oven, five oven, you can see has the warming plate, which is quite a useful space. So are we all completely comfortable? We know what we've got. Brilliant, right, let's cook Christmas 